A very good morning to you, you crafty lot. So this is Thursday, the 9th of um, April. And we're going to be doing the lovely candle holders today. I'm going to be showing to you how to do them. Um, they're really easy to do. They're very handy to have because you can change them around. You can do loads of different um, bits of pieces. You can make the same pattern works with different sizes as well. So what you will be creating is one of these, um, starting with right angle weave inside, and then we're gonna decorate the folder. And it's really easily, they just pop into your candles. I'm just gonna change you and show you so you can reuse them over and over again. Just go on there, just like that. So I thought I start straight into the rig today um, because I um, wanted to sort of hopefully make it from start to right a good way through. Um, let me just get these out of the way so I can get the materials out. So what we're gonna be using is eight millimeter pearls. I'm gonna make um, a Christmas color one. We're gonna be using this lovely five millimeter fire polished crystals. You're gonna need thread. You're gonna need size eight seed beads. Now I like to use the Toho seed beads because they are more regular and um, give you a nicer finish when you make them. So I'm gonna thread my needle, but I'm gonna leave the bobbin on the end um, because later on when I need more thread, I can simply just unreel more thread from the bobbin and then um, just sort of continue my beading on that end. So how's everybody um, this morning? Um, in our house, we're quite excited today because it's my little Lucy's birthday. So <laughs> that's why we were sort of, um, we had a little lay-in today and um, we were just laughing and talking in bed. Um, we're going to have a barbecue later on, so hopefully the weather will hold out on us. So I got probably about three, sort of a couple of arms spam of thread here doubled over and then I will move my thread up as I need to. I'm going to need some of these beans, so let's... Just get some here on my mat and the seed beads. So Simon is watching. Good morning, Simon. You did good morning. Hope you're doing okay. Yes, we are doing very well. Um, we had a very late night last night um, at the office. We didn't finish until seven o'clock and then we still had to go shopping. So it's pretty much at the moment we are full on. We're working one day off and one day on um, in the warehouse and the other day from home. So it's it's quite tiring and um, don't uh, really get a day off at the moment. But hey ho. So you're going to start by picking up one crystal, one seed bead, one crystal, one seed bead, one crystal, one seed bead, one crystal, one seed bead. So four set of these and take it down all the way on your thread. And I'm going to take my thread all of these through again. Just like that. So I want to form a really nice and strong base here to work on. Once I get to where my tail is, I'm going to simply knot them together so I don't have any thread traveling back up. The holes on these beads are quite large, so even if the knot, the, the knot sinks into one of them, it's not to worry because um, they can take it. So I'm going to go through the next seed bead and crystal bead just to sort of be away from my knot and I'm going to repeat a pattern picking up a seed bead, a crystal bead, a seed bead, a crystal bead, another seed bead, another crystal bead, another seed bead because I already have the fourth crystal bead 
what I'm gonna be working with on my next round. So I'm just gonna go through this crystal bead. And we, as you see, we created like a little figure of eight here. Now I need to take my thread up to the other end to be able to add the same again. So I'm gonna go through the next seed bead crystal, seed bead crystal, just like that. Oh, just got a little knot. Come away, you knot. It's what happens when you least need it. That's it. And then we're going to repeat the same pattern over and over again. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Angela. Um, good morning, Bernie. Um, good morning, Dorothy. Um, I just think happy birthday, Lucy. Yeah, she's probably going to kill me that I mentioned her on the Facebook Live, but hey-ho. Um, she's such a big part of my life, so that's it. Tr Tracy saying good morning. Joe saying good morning. Julie saying good morning. Hope you well. Sending birthday wishes to Lucy. Oh, thank you so much. She is 13 today, so we got her... We got another teenager in the house now. And we have to excuse my hands because my hands are so dry by using, washing my hands so much and using the hand sanitizer. And actually I need to do my nails today. So, but never mind. So I'm just gonna keep doing this, adding my seed bead crystal, seed bead crystal, seed bead. So depending on how big your candle is, because don't just um, imagine you can do this for tea lights, you can do it for loads of other things as well. Um, you need to go around as many times. So normal, a smaller tea light, you I probably you do like 13 squares. And just keep picking them up and keep going around. Oh, Camille Sealing, good morning, Kitty. So kind of you to do all these um, shows for us. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. I do really enjoy myself as well, um, sort of interacting with all of you. Good morning, Natalie. Natalie saying, please say happy birthday for Lucy. Yes, will do. Um, the comments are keep going off on my iPad. Um, Beverly saying, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Beverly. Um, Diana saying, good morning. Um, that's amazing. I suppose you're referring to the candle holders. Lovely. And just keep going on. Make sure you keep a very tight tension. So you have a nice and strong base. Christian saying good morning. Good morning, Kitty. Looking forward to doing these. Debbie saying good morning. Um, Doris is saying good morning from North Wales. Good morning, Doris. I've been sort of on a text with Doris and um, on our Facebook page. And she was saying that she misses us going to the shows. It's unfortunately, at the moment, all the beach shows and everything cancelled. So um, we're not... Usually we sort of go around the country and um, do different shows. I think she said she usually goes to the Harrogate one or the Nantwich one. But at the moment, I think, you know, we're just trying to give you as much inspiration as we can with these Facebook Lives. So you're still at home, but you're still able to be the part of our little community, I guess, because we are all like-minded people doing weird and wonderful things and i love when people like bernie she's taken my flirt pendant even further and did um an even better display with it i'm gonna need some more of these so i'm almost around here so we're gonna have a nice barbecue today if the weather holds out which i hope it will We haven't had barbecue since last summer. I think you're just excited to get out of the house, even though you finish just your own garden. It just really, I think it feels like something special. 
So there is a free PDF to download on our website. So please go on our website. I will post the link below um, later on where you can do it because quite a few of you messaged me yesterday that you can't find it. So I will post the link be below after the video and um, do download it. You have to put in your basket and you have to check out. Now we got quite a few of these kits because as it needs um, sort of a five millimeter crystal bead, um, the pattern um, not that's not really widely available and we put them down to offer on the website they're gonna be $12.99 so check out them one um, kit will make you eight of these so that's quite a few so you can make some for yourself some for your friends to sort of give give away and um, just to brighten people's up I love these I had um, some on the Christmas table last year and um, you can put them on a mantelpiece or or any for us really one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we need three more I think it's from start to finish is probably about I guess about takes me about 40 minutes maybe an hour to make one so they're not too quick but they're not too bad either and just keep going and adding the same pattern this is called right angle weave so even if you're not if you don't like to make jewelry something like this is really nice to work with these um, beads and and you know learn a new technique and do something for home decor I, I'm always um, I love making stuff for home decor because whenever you go around to the um, well any of the department so stores some little things like candle holders especially and bits of pieces they are can be really pricey so it's really nice that you can create and make something um, which looks equally as nice so I got 12 squares here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, just double checking. So after the twelfth one, because we only need thirteen in total, we need to join the end and the beginning together. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna pop this candle out of this one because after I joined it, I like to put it onto the uh, tea light itself and work on it, so I know how much I need to tighten my. Um, pattern up so I'm gonna go through the crystal bead to the end as I normally do but all I'm gonna pick up is one seed bead one crystal bead one seed bead take this down and I'm gonna line it up if um, if you want um, you can put it around your candle at this stage just to sort of be sure that you are not twisting it and you're gonna have um, sort of a nice um, a straight line and I'm just going to go through that crystal bead on the other side and when I pull it up it will pull the end and the beginning together and then I'm going to pick up another seed bead crystal bead and another seed bead and come back through the last crystal bead just the crystal bead itself and pull this up tight so when I pull this up tight you can see that last square is made up and pulled into place now this can be a slightly a little bit too big at the moment but um, don't be afraid of this because we're gonna with the next step we're gonna tighten it up. So all we're gonna do is gonna take our needle and thread through the top beads. So by the top beads I mean the seed bead crystal, two seed beads crystal, just sort of in the straight line on the top, going around every single bead and this will tighten your pattern up as you can see it's quite a bit bigger but it will tighten your pattern up enough that um the top of it is going to be a bit tighter and obviously we need it a little bit looser at the bottom because at the bottom we need to be able to fit it over our candle now with these tea lights um there's so many different ones there is plastic ones there is battery operated ones there is so many different ones out there that um 
you can have and they might have a millimeter or two difference between them so that's why doing it this way is quite good because um i'm tightening up as much as i need to i'm just going to take it through a few more beads just like that and that's the one at the beginning and see how much it's tightened up i'm going to take it more a few more beads just to have a nice if you can hear the footsteps i think my son is running up and down the stairs bless him he made um lucy breakfast in bed this morning he was so cute but i think the when I was coming down, I heard the waffles weren't toasted enough. Just going to go through a few more of these beads. Just like that. Yeah. So, once you are happy at the top and you feel that this is strong enough i think i went around two times now all the way around so the more you go around the more stiffer <clears throat> it's going to be sorry i'm losing my voice so i'm just gonna take i'm gonna pull this through and take a sip of my coffee and we need to weave our thread down to the bottom row So just take this down and sort of go along. I just want to come out of that crystal bead. Let me just have a sip of my coffee. Right, so at the bottom, you're going to have to do a slightly larger loops because we want to sort of expand that and we want this to be a little bit bigger. So the pattern, what you will be picking up, is going to be somewhat a little bit different. And we're going to work through not just the um, the crystal beads, we're going to work at the middle of the two seed beads. So be nice and centering our crystal beads there. Um, let me just go back to your comments. Sorry if I miss any of your comments. Um, please bear with me because I'm sort of trying to do a make here and concentrate on that as well as uh, trying to read everything out. Angela said, happy birthday, Lucy. Natalie, morning, Kitty from Colchester. Stay safe. Morning, Nat. Um, um, raining in Glasgow. Um, good morning, Dorothy. Well, we had a bit of an overcast yesterday, so maybe that's what got up to you today. Um, but hopefully sunshine is on the way for you. Um, Joe is saying happy birthday, Lucy. Lucy, good morning. Hope you well. Sending birthday wishes to so thank you. Tracy says sunny in Saturn. Oh, lovely. Um, I love Saturn. Um, Murray saying good morning. Paula, good morning. Camille um, saying good morning, Kitty. Um, so kind of to do all these shows for us. Thank you. That's saying, please say happy birthday to Lucy. Um, Beverly saying good morning. Diana, good morning. Christine, good morning. Debbie, good morning. Doris, good morning. Um, I think I might have read some of these out already. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. Dee saying happy birthday, Lucy. L Leslie saying good morning. Um, good morning. Um, Kitty and Crafters from Sunny North Wales. Um, Diana saying good morning from Crystal Palace. Um, then... Good morning. Sorry if I said your name right. Um, um, Doris is saying, Kitty, video a bit blur and stopping. Is it just me? Um, please comment on it if it's just sort of Doris's connection, if there is a problem with my connection, please. Um, no, it seems to be jumping. Cho saying... Um, sorry, I can't really read that. <laughs> That's not in English. But he's saying, Doris, mine's okay, but my internet... Um, well, my internet was was on and off earlier. Not saying I'm sure the weather will hold out. The sun is shining here in Colchester. Tracy saying, can I ask what size beads I came on web a little later? They were saying half an hour kitty for a small one. I used our pearls for mine because I bought so many from you. Um, Doris has made, as uh, she sent me a picture, quite a few of um, these lovely and different colors. Um, Carolyn saying, good morning. I made this um, for Christmas. Um, Michelle saying, so excited. I've been wanting this pattern for a while. And Peter 
Peter is watching. Peter is my father-in-law and um, they're staying with us. They came back from Spain about three weeks ago and we're just all sort of trying to stay safe together. So hi, Pete. Right, so at the bottom, we're going to do a bit of a little bit of a larger loop and we're going we're gonna to make sure that we're coming out the middle of um, one of those two seed beads. So as we went through the top, we're not going to go down to the, at the bottom. We're not going to go through all the way through because they want this a little bit uh, bigger. And although when we're adding our loops, we're going to be going through them anyway. So you make sure you're coming out between the two seed beads. Then again, you're going to pick up a pattern of beads, which is going to be one crystal bead. Let me just pull this to this side. It's going to be one crystal bead. It's going to be two seed beads, another crystal bead. So at the top, we only picked up one seed bead. Here we're picking up two. And then another two seed beads and another crystal bead. And then we're going to loop back and go through. So we're exiting at the top of the seed beads. We're going to loop back through and come through the seed bead, crystal seed bead to finish our first loop. And when I pull this tight, this is just going to sort of stand to the side. Now, because we're adding two seed beads and not one, that's why the circumference of the end of this circle is going to be bigger than, than the inside of it. And that's why it's going to start to stand up on itself. So I need to go through the next seed bead, crystal seed bead to be able to add further beads. And I'm going to be, keep a, pick up a crystal, two seed beads, another crystal and another two seed beads. So from now on, that's the pattern I need to pick up. And I'm going to go down to this crystal I added in the first loop along the seed bead on, on the bottom crystal seed bead. And in the same stitch, because I'm using longer needle, I can go to the next seed bead crystal seed bead to be able to in position to add the further beads. And you're going to do this all the way around. So I'm just going to Pull this down and again repeat it going through. Just like so. Did anybody watch Sarah show on Create and Craft yesterday? She was launching her fabulous um, lavenders. I made a lavender up myself last year. We had a workshop with her down at Totally Beads and um, I really enjoyed it. Oh, no, not seed beads first. Crystal first, and then two seed beads, and then another crystal. And another two seed beads. So you just keep going on until you get Oh, Doris is saying she watched it all the way around. I'm going to need a few more of these beadies. So do share this video with your friends as well, because the free PDF is only there for until tomorrow morning and it will be something different. So do share it with your friends so they can go and um, download the free PDF as well as... Um, the offers on the kits, they're on the same page as well. So if you do wish to get something, we are still open. We're working in two teams in the warehouse. So uh, this we come in on Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. And next week it will be Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. And I'm going to try to take a couple of days of sort of between. It doesn't really matter what day it is or when we're doing what at the moment. So just keep adding. You're just adding like a little skirt there and turning it around. Adding the same pattern. It's very easy, very easy make. So even if like this would be your first make, um, I think you very comfortably could do it. I will also, um, Doris, like, 
I will upload this video because when I um, finished the Facebook Live, you asked you how I want to upload the video and I can upload it apparently in HD. So that might will improve the quality of the video so you can watch it back later. And just keep going through. So after I add the skirt, that's usually when um, I pretty much sort of run out of thread or won't have enough to to carry on. And that's when I'm going to go and unreal more thread for my um, bobbin and just carry on beading from there. But I'm almost around now, more than halfway. So as you can see, it doesn't really take that long to get them together. I keep going for the seed beads first, but it's the crystals what you need to pick up. So just that's it, just keep going round. I'm so happy that the weather is slowly getting a bit better and we're having a bit... Um... Oh, Anne is asking, what is the cloth on your table? Um, this is just, well, obviously there is a bead mats and other things that are available, what you can use. But um, when I'm on, on my crafting table, I just, I, on, I use bead mats and bits of pieces on bead trays and, and things where I want to work from my lap. But on my crafting table, I like to use something a little bit bigger so I can spread myself really right out. And to be honest, this is just an ordinary fleece. I think it's about five pound a meter. So I'm come to the end and obviously I've got two sides here already. And all I need to do is just add the middle bit, which is two seed beads, a crystal and two seed beads and go back down. And with this, I constructed the skirt part of the candle holder. So we go all the way around. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna weave this thread up and I'm gonna keep going around in the top here, just to sort of sewing it off. You can do a couple of one thread knots, which is, I'm going to show you what it is. So I'm going to go under these beads. I'm catching the thread between the two beads. I don't want to go through any of the beads. And as you're pulling it through, you see this little loop forming. Then take your needle through that little loop and pull this tight. And what does that do when you pull it tight? It just forms a little knot on your thread, which then just going to secure it even further. I'm just going to go through a few more and do it one more time just to be sort of total secure. As you can see, that little knot is forming. Now, I'm never cutting my thread off right next to my knot, so I always take it through a few more beads and then you can just trim this end off. So we need gonna need more thread. So I left my bobbin on, just again, the position is right on the top. I'm going to take more thread off here. Again, a couple of arm spam. And thread my needle. Right, so Doris said, so yeah, I'm going back to your comments and um, just going to sort of see what you were saying. Doris says, yes, I think that was when I mentioned that... Um, mentioned about Sarah Shaw yesterday. Um, right, the size of the beads um, are, are um, that Tracy's asking. So I'm yes, using size eight Toho seed beads. These are sort of five millimeter um, crystals, eight millimeter glass beads as well, and thread and needle. That's, that's all you need to make um, the candle holders. So we got some kits on the website which are twelve ninety nine, and that will make you eight of these lovely candle holders or I think it makes six of the bigger ones um, but I'm not quite sure um, 
just have to sort of count the pros because that's your limiting factor but it definitely makes eight of the smaller one and the small smaller one is the normal size the bigger one that's what we always had the bigger ones only i suppose popped out a couple of years ago um in the shop so but the same pattern will do both of them and Micheline's saying she's so excited she's wanted to do this for a while um Julie, does it keep going a bit blurry? Oh, sorry, sorry, Julie. Um, and I saying good morning. Um, love these when first I saw them on, on Can DC. This might be cute. She's making properly. She's meaning create and craft. Um, because this was one of my designs when I came up. Um, Dorothy saying yeah, ordered that. They are lovely kids. Um, Dawn saying yes, and I ordered it as well. Oh, I'm so glad. Are you selling the lavender on your website? Not at the moment because we have to see what stock we have. Um, once we sort of sent out all the orders for create and craft, then we will see. Doris is saying um, she's lovely. Yes, Sarah is lovely. Um, and Maura saying yes. Camille saying yes, I watched it. Joe, yes, love the lavender. Del deliveries are real quick. Um, we're trying our best at the moment um, to sort of get everything out. What is the cloth? Yes, I answered that. Um, Kitty, that's a very good idea to leave a spool on. Doris is saying, oh, it's got the very length. Yes, so we d it doesn't really matter if the spool is on there or not. Um, I always leave it on there just in case. Um, and she said she had to join the tre the thread. And I saying thank you, Faye. Saying hello, Kitty. Hello, Faye. Ronnie saying good morning. Um, Joe saying, uh, Kitty, I've got the green thread you are using as I've the kid. Did you do any other color in the same thickness thread as it's much stronger? So the thread I'm using, I'm gonna weave my thread down all the way to the bottom and go around this outside at the same time. <clears throat> the thread I'm using is called Supalon. Now Supalon come in two different thicknesses. So this is D, which is the thicker one, and there is also one, um, a double A one. The double A I would use for projects, um, maybe where I'm using a lot of size 15 seed beads or even if I'm using um, bigger seed beads, but I have to go through the seed beads quite a few times and, um, you know, you're going to fill up the holes of the beads there with um, a seed beads. So generally I use D all the time and um, it is really strong. I think it holds up to the weight of six pounds. So it's it's quite a very a very strong thread. Um I use them for years and years and years. I used to use Nymo before, but um Nymo used to fray on me and um then you had to condition it with beeswax and when you condition it with beeswax, um then the beeswax sort of again gets stuck in the um holes of the beads. So when I came along um super and I was really glad and I, I love using it. So it comes in 36 colors. Um, I, I like every, you can imagine every single color what you could just need to um, use, I guess, in any of your beading projects. I probably use maybe 12 to 14 on a regular basis. Um, but my I always have in my stash, obviously your white, your black, the grey. I love using the ashy colours because they are um sort of can go with any thread. Um there is a beige which has got like a hint of rose in it, that's always in my stash. Um a lavendery colour, a pinky colour, a bluey colour, a tealy colour, and um there is one called charcoal grey, which is not black, but um it's a very dark gray and that's great as well to use with any dark beads. So even if you're using like a dark mauve, it will go with it or dark gray or, or any dark, or even dark greens, it will go with a lot of your projects. So that's the, those are the ones that are always in my stash. But there is 72 yards, I think, which is probably about 65 meters on each bobbin so a thread which is 125 it will go forever really forever in your stash i think i i usually have maybe one or two of the same color on the go but um i very rarely use one up so i'm just going to go around all these beads on the outside again 
to sort of tighten this up as well and not just to tighten but straighten these beads so when you go around these this will sort of lift the middle part a little bit because it will make these candle holders to sort of um, stand on an angle at the bottom part so that's it we went all the way around I think now and then I want to end up coming out sort of if you see those four seed beads here I want to end up coming out between bead number two and three then I'm going to cut this to get some of these lovely pearls right so all is left to do here now is to <coughs> excuse me decorate and add these pearls into place places and this is really again very very easy to do so are you going to pick up two of your seed beads you're going to pick up one of these pearl beads another two seed beads I'm going to slide this all the way down so you can see what I'm, I'm doing um if you look at your squares that um that you created so the one on the side and one on the bottom i'm gonna look at them like that that's those two are one unit really and i always want to work sort of going um to the side stepping across um them to create this pattern i mean you can create your own pattern or do whatever you really like but um i just find this is the quickest way to sort of um add your threads so all you need to do, so as you're coming out of the bottom of your square on one side, take it diagonally across to the top. And all you need to do is just to go through these two crystal beads. So the one from the side of your candle and the one is on your skirt. And when I pull this up, just like that, you can see that will just sit in there just really nicely it's gonna sit there in place and that's it that's all you need to do going all the way around always skipping a place going just i need to untangle my thread a bit just one along now i have to say at the end when i have got thread left i never sort of really cut it off because things like this the more you go around it the more um sturdy your piece is going to be so whenever i have some excess thread left at the end i always sort of just go around up and down but I'm, I'll make sure I do that on a candle itself because you don't want to over tighten your pattern and then um, won't be able to put it on a candle afterwards. So just keep doing this, adding your pearls. But as you can see, it come together really, really quickly. We did a couple of rows of right angle weave and we're just adding our decoration on the top, pulling it through. So go to our website. I will post the link be below shortly. And download the free PDF as well as check out the kits. Um, for twelve ninety nine, you can make eight candles. Um, I'm sure most of you got size eight seed beads at home and um, pearls as well. However, the pattern requires a five millimeter crystal bead, which is um, not so much widely available. But do try out with any of your beads you have at home um, and. Post us a picture um, in one of our groups. We have totally handmade by totally beads on our website. That's um, there's I know a lot of you on there and receiving loads of lovely pictures of your makes. Um, do pop a experiment with different sizes. I love to see because I I think that's how we sort of grow and grow each other that I come up with an idea and then you look at my idea and take it even further and then someone else will look at your idea and take it even further and we're just sort of creating loads of weird and wonderful things and it's just really really great so that's why I think it's important to be in one of those groups and just sort of be with like-minded people and at the moment we're not allowed to go out and meet but um we can meet on here we can meet on facebook we can comment on each other um things so it's really great to um be able to do that i really enjoy these facebook lives as well um tomorrow i know it was supposed to be sarah but it's going to be me because she's going to be in crate and craft um with craft buddy doing a show so 
I just, unfortunately I did look um yesterday when I left work that um she's got all my samples for the chain uh, jewelry so I think um I'm gonna have a look at that today and move that along and do something different tomorrow just see what I have and um, what I can show you. But if you have any preference, if you want to see any techniques, I might not have the PDF on it, it doesn't matter. I can always just show you how to make it in one of these Facebook Lives and, and do something. So you just really, you know, just let me know what, if there's anything what you wanted to do. So just, just to tell you why I wanted to do the Christmas color today, because, um, last year i made so many of these up and um i given them to friends and family um a couple at a time to sort of put you on their table or decorate their house with it and um oh, we had a sort of an unexpected guest and then i was like oh what 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 quickly i <laughs> i can give them and um i given them a couple of my own um candle holders what i made up for ourselves so i'm making up this to replace my own one at the moment, but I'm going to have to make another one later on. But once I finished, I will post the picture for you. And um, this one is actually, I went all the way around and finished in there. So all is left to do is to sort of tighten it up and go around. Um, I'm not necessarily going to go into my um, uh, pearls, but I'm going to go around and just sort of tighten it up. So I hope everybody's okay. Everybody's staying safe. Um, do whichever color um, you like to do. Um, they all they're all really nice i love this sea foam one as well i mean it's not just for christmas um if you got purpley bedroom like you know you could do something like that or or, or that one or, or even if i like these green ones they're really nice and springy perhaps for easter they will be a really nice decoration um so just let's just go back to your um lovely comments um and obviously the gray one as well i love the gray one um Eduardo asking, where are you from? So, originally I'm from Hungary, um, but I lived in the UK for almost 20 years now. And um, I, I came over in my gap year in university and met my husband. And uh, I guess the rest is history. We've got three children and um, settled here now. Um, Camille saying, thank you, Kitty. Enjoy your barbecue later. Thank you, will do. Um, Doris is saying, Kitty, are you six millimeter, eight millimeter pearls? Came out lovely. Yes, so you could try um, six millimeter pearls instead of the crystals. Um, I just like the crystals because they give like a little bit of sparkle. Um, Dorothy asking, can you do a demo for the new floor pendant, please? I see what can I do. I will put that on the list. Angela is saying, um, can you do the Christmas trees, please? Yes, I will see um, what can I do. But that's probably going to be a little bit longer one because a tree sort of takes you two, three hours to make up. So that's it for me today. Um, please go on our website and download the free PDF. Um, also do go and um, check out these lovely um, candle kits. They are on the offer today. They're usually nice. $19.99 so they're down to $12.99 today and they make eight um, as well as stay safe everybody keep on crafting and send us some pictures of your lovely makes so thank you very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow